Hi guys, welcome to another video of Shot and Rajas. You know, it's very rare when a tech channel comes outside to shoot, and today is one of those rare days. We are outside in the open, and it's very, very beautiful weather in Delhi as it's autumn time. So today we are going to review. Uh, I don't think it's review technically, but just you know, look at it and from a you know an amateur's perspective. So from my perspective, I'm going to look at this bike and I'm going to tell you how it is and uh, whether you should buy one or not. So let's get started. We have the Trident 660 with us. This is the 660 cc entry level bike from Triumph. In one line, what a bike this is! I mean, I have loved my experience with this, and uh, you know, in the short hands time that I have gotten with this, it's great. So let's first start with the LEDs. It has gotten the everything on this bike. Every bulb you see is LED, and that's great. So it has a T in the middle, and honestly, that looks beautiful. And you know, it just gives it a very distinctive, you know. Retro look and at the same time modern look too. You have got indicators; those are great. It has got an upside down uh, forks and uh, suspension. We'll talk a little later on, but now let's move on to the tires. Triumph has used uh, Michelin tires, and they are wonderful. There is nowhere in my driving experience that I have faced or thought that you know uh, you will have any issues with the grip. Or you'll think that you know the bike is not getting enough grip, and you have issues like that. Even when you are cornering, uh, you know, uh, pushing it hard and stuff like that, it's very good for that. The front tire is actually very wide, and it looks kind of gives the bike the little distinctive look compared to you know typical bikes. Uh, now let's look at the brakes. The brake on this bike is great. I am someone who uses front brakes a little more than the rear ones because. Honestly, I believe that when there is ABS, you don't have to worry that much about your bike, uh, you know, skidding. So it has a disc brake, and it uh, obviously is an ABS unit because in India, if you are making a bike that is 150 cc or more, you have to give ABS on the front and back both. So overall, the ABS performance of the bike is great. One thing that I have felt at times is, you know, the traction control is a little too aggressive and a little too intrusive. So you know when you are doing basic like throttling, also opening the throttle, it will just you know cut the power and the traction control will come in play and you know it will. I mean I think they could have gotten a little bit more leaner towards the traction control. Moving on, it is a 660 cc displacement engine with a three cylinder uh, design. You know this is I think the only bike which has three cylinder. You will either find two or four. So in that category, it makes it unique, and you know, it gives it the power and the uh, you know the torque of two cylinder, and at the same time, the smoothness of a four cylinder bike. So it's very good in that way, and you won't have issues while driving it. You won't believe I was driving this thing at around 25 to 20 kilometers an hour on fifth gear, which depicts how smooth the bike is. Responds to this video, and we can plan a driving video too. We can plan touring videos too, whatever you guys suggest. Moving on, the uh, mirrors, the back mirrors are good. I mean, they are not best in class, but they are sufficient enough at the moment to, you know, give you enough and ample information about what's behind your back. Uh, there are no fancy electronics as such uh, on this bike because it's an entry level from Triumph, but it has gotten almost all the things that you require, and it gives you the big bike feeling that you know people want. It gives you that big bike feeling, and it's a good. Entry level bike for someone who is coming from, let's say, KTM 390 or bikes in that category, you will feel the power surge. It has 80 PS of power, which is, I think, close to a lot of cars that we see on road. So it has got an ample power. Now, talking about the fuel tank, I think it can hold around 12 uh, to 14 liters of fuel. The mileage on this thing, again, because it's a three-cylinder engine, is great. I mean, it can give you around 35 to 40 kilometers per liter mileage if you're driving it. Properly and on rain mode, but still I am getting somewhere around 25 to 30 kilometers mileage easily out of this thing, and it's wonderful. I don't think I was expecting this much range from a bike like this. One thing I always question about these bikes are, you know, how comfortable they are because I have ridden KTM. They are not at all comfortable bikes. They heat a lot, and you know the seats are not that comfortable. In this one, the seats are very, you know, uh, good and comfortable. You will sit it and enjoy riding the bike. The sitting position is also not very aggressive as it's a naked bike, naked street bike. City friendly in my opinion. So that way this is good. If you want a pillion too, you can do that. The pillion seat looks a lot smaller, but when you ride with someone at the back, 
they will not be uncomfortable at all one with the bike uh, overall because you know the overall ergonomics the driving experience everything combined makes it a good bike a very good bike the one thing that i love about this is the rear side of this bike as the rear is like the best part about this and you know it gives it a very distinctive look at the back when you are looking it from the back the big tires and the you know pointy shaped edge of the back i love it it's great now comes the point should you buy this if you are someone who is a hardcore bike enthusiast i think definitely you should give it a look it's on the pricier side but again it's a triumph motorcycle so you expect lots of things from them and they have delivered to it's their first this segment bike and it's very good bike on that front now coming to the part whether you should buy it for city rides i don't think if you are in northern india you should because this will get heated up not like ktm but it will still heat up a lot so you can go to something a more comfortable ride but just for touring and going long distance this is a perfect perfect machine and trident has delivered on the performance part so overall if you are in the market looking at bikes in this price segment you know entry barrier to the big bike feel this will give you that one thing that i feel is lacking from the trident is you know the wow factor this bike doesn't have any wow factor for that matter when you are crossing it looks like almost all the simple bikes that are available in the market the back side definitely looks distinct and uh, i think that's the only distinctive part about it but that's my only gripe with this bike that it doesn't give you that wow factor on the road and the sound is also very lenient and uh, other than that i don't think there is any issues also one thing there are lots of options available and accessories like you can get heated grips you can get quick shifters you can get engine guard lots of thing that you can add to with this bike and uh, i think in a city like delhi where i live a heated grip in winters is a must and quick shifter also because quick shifter is something that i love the most it gives you the freedom to not always use clutch and you can up shift very rapidly it is just a quick shifter mind you not an auto blipper so you'll have to take clutch every time you have to down shift but for up shift you can do it without the uh, without taking clutch and uh, i think that's it from my side thank you so much for watching the video guys i am very new to this genre of making you know automotive review videos and i'm i don't think i'm even good enough or knowledgeable enough to review it right now but i just try to give my opinion how i feel so do let me know if you want me to do more videos like this thank you so much for watching